Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. Today's video is going to be um, a plan with me video. I do minimal planning, uh, you know, some people call it minimalist, but whatever. Whatever it is, I do it very lightly. Um, I just don't have very many things going on, you know, so there's not a lot for me to write down, but I like to write it down because when I do write it down, then I remember it. So I start each week with a little spread. It looks exactly the same each week except for different pictures and stuff like that. Um, let's see, I can maybe give you a flip through of what I have done in here so far. So this is the very first week that I did in this uh, journal. And I use one midliner color the entire time for the week. So I just kind of stick it in my pin loop right here. And then um, that's what I do to fill in my spreads. Now every time I fill in a spread, I just cross it off. What I mean, anytime I um, cross off the task or I complete the task, then I go ahead and cross it off in my spread. Let's go to the next one. Here's the next one. Um, I like to choose, I like to use all the colors that I have in the midliners. I just really enjoy them. Um, so I choose a different color every time. Um, and I try and be consistent with it. And how I do that is if I've used it in the notebook, then I uh, hold it with my... Um, what is this rubber band? So this light blue, the next one looks like this. In the gray, I love the gray. Um, I love, I got the like, the really dull colors as far as midliners go. There is like the regular highlighter colors, but um, I wasn't a big fan, so I just went ahead and got the dull ones. And I think it's two separate packs. So that's that spread. Let's move to the next one. Here's the next spread. Um, I've clipped the gray and the green because it's the, the two that I've used uh, right, kind of like right after I use this pink. So I'll clip all those together and then I'll just pull from my bag uh, for the next one randomly. I just kind of stick my hand in there and that becomes like the very first um, I don't know, kind of like since that's, it's like the first color. So once I, um, get that color, then I build on the spread and then this one. And so, um, I just need to highlight a few things on here that I actually completed and then I'm done. So this marker gets put back into this and then that way I won't pull from it for uh, for the next spread. This seems a little tight. And then once I pull my marker, then I kind of have figured out a color scheme, so then I kind of base all that off of that. So I'm just gonna kind of walk you guys through it and talk. I don't normally chat with you and do this, so I thought maybe it'd be a good, um, nice change. Uh, this is the marker that I made. It's just a paper clip uh, shaped like an arrow, and then I put a little black flag on it, so that way I know where my calendar is every time I flip. Now, with this notebook, this is, uh, I made this hand bound. I use Dot Grid Cream Tomo River Paper. The only problem when you buy Dot Grid is it's dot on one side but blank on the other. So um, when I'm journaling, I try and find like a dot page and then I stop there. And it's actually like, it didn't work out this month. Like uh, this was yesterday's journal, so then I'll start Monday here. But it's, you know, it's close enough. So it's been working out so far. So what I do when I have the dots, I just kind of, um, I count the dots so that way I'm about 15 in. And then for each dot, I make a dash. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dash all the way down. I like to do it in black because I normally do all my calendar writing in gray. So it just kind of differentiates the difference between the um, actual layout and then the stuff that I've added uh, things to do for the week. 
So after I have that, then I do this side. This side is my dates, uh, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, these are five boxes down, so I count one, two, three, four, five. And then on each dot, I make a dash mark. I have my paper clip there, so it's bothering me. This layout that I'm doing is very similar to the Hobonichi Weeks. And I just really like uh, that layout. I feel like I can get like all my stuff on one page, which is perfect. And I even have room for some notes. And then I can continue journaling. And I came up with this idea to do my bullet journal calendar, you know, planning situation in my journal because, or like, yeah, like combining the calendar and the journal because um, since I am a minimalist planner, two, three, four, five, um, I feel like uh, it could just flow right inside my journal and then I can actually understand maybe why I was feeling the way I was feeling because, um, no, 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 honey, stay right back. Okay, because I was, um, because maybe I could see what was going on in my week. Hey, back up please. You're in my video. Can you sit on the bed, please? No. Yes. Come on. Or sit right here by me. Sit on the ground by me. Do you want my pillow? Yeah. Okay. You can have the pillow. Okay, sit there. There might be some uh, interruptions because my daughter's with me. My son is at school today. So at this point, now that I have the layout pretty much finished, I mean, that's pretty much the layout. Now I'm just going to add in my date, my days. So... I'm just gonna say Monday, and I write these exactly the same every time. Um, I like how it looks, and until I find something that I like better, I'm just gonna stick with this. I don't really try, this sounds horrible, but I don't really try new things if I like what is happening already. So since I enjoy this, I'm not gonna change it. I have two go-to fonts that I really like that I use on a regular basis and it's this font and it's my uh, script font and how I use them is my script font I go ahead and I write out the day and then my other font I write out something that's like important so it's like a bold word um, I like that I like the look of it I even do that in um, in Happy Mail too, uh, when I'm writing someone a letter, I do that as well. So, uh, so today's the eighth. You will hear um, like little kid kind of like music. My daughter's watching or playing some games on the tablet. So, what I'm doing here is I'm just adding in the actual days, like the date part. And I do that in the same font. It's not perfect, but I like what it looks like. And, you know, no, nope, I said not on my desk, honey. And thank you very much. And um, since I like what it looks like, I just stick with it. I mean, I know that, uh, you know, if you don't try something new, you'll never really figure out if you like it or not. But at the same time, I don't want to mess something up that is already working, you know? Does anyone else feel that way? You playing this one? That is awfully loud. His shoe one. It's his shoe one. It's his shoe one? Yeah. I can't play any of them. Move your fingers, maybe. I'll get this one today. That's the one I'm using right now. Oh. Okay. Two books, yes? Just one book. Mm. One book here. See a page wet? No, it's not wet. Then turn it. I don't want to turn it right now. Okay, so now, now what I normally do is I figure out um, if I'm going to have my picture on the top or the bottom. Uh, it really has changed, as you saw in the flip through, uh, either one, top or bottom. I don't really care. Um, it's just what I'm feeling at the moment. 
So I dig in my pockets over here. This is where I keep these photos. And I want to kind of do something that is uh, what's happening at the moment. So it's been seriously cold here and there has been no snow, which is crazy for Colorado. But um, so that is kind of what I am pulling here. I will probably use this one that says cold just because literally really cold, you know, but but no snow. So we'll go with that one. And then I'm going to pull my color. We'll just see what color I get. So yellow. I think I've already used yellow in this one so far. So we're going to do something else. Okay. This reddish color. And what I do first is I'm going to write the date. I'm going to do the photo down here this time. I think I did it up there last time. So I'm going to write the date out. Or, I'm sorry, I'm just going to write the month. And then the week. And this is kind of where, this is my second font that I always like to do. And I am not good at brush script. I, I don't even practice it. So I can't really say that um, I'm, I'm not any good at it. I don't even do it. So um, this is how I do it. I just don't want to have to take out another pen. That's how lazy I am, I guess. Or how, I don't know, I'm pretty lazy, I guess, when it comes to that. So week two. And then I normally make a little box here. It's not little, it's gonna be kind of big. It's like a little flag. Uh, bullet journalers do that all the time. And this is going to say list. And this changes periodically from time to time. Sometimes it's a banner, sometimes it's more like this. It just really depends on what um, I'm feeling. I tend to use the same one over and over until I get bored with it, so, you know. So list, and then I end up filling that in with my marker later on after this dries a bit. And then that's where I make all my marks. So I want to apply this photo down here and I wanna, I always do kind of like a paper collage. So I'm gonna get out all my stuff and I honestly don't have very much stuff, but I'm gonna get out what I do have. Um, normally what I do is I find some paper that I think will work and this right here has some of that red in it so I'm gonna go ahead and hmm, just gonna rip it because that's what I normally do so we're gonna have a piece of that maybe I can find a tab that kind of goes with that photo as well so maybe a color or something that ties it together a bit or, or something like that. I don't want too much red, but then again, I don't, um, we'll see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe I have something pretty plain and then I can put this has some texture to it that's nice okay so I've got that and then I always pick a word phrase so I have my word phrases here oh, I have some red in here too I used to be subscribed to Coco Daisy which was crazy because I'm not a planner but I thought it was cute stuff so <laughs> I subscribed to it um, but yeah, I could use some of that stuff since it's red. And then pick a phrase. I'll probably use black. So let's get out the black ones. And... We can pick out some words in a minute, but let's get this paper cluster. Okay, so since we included this like brown tab, ish type thing. I'm going to also include some ledger paper just because just because I like it and 
we'll do that and maybe we can find we can use that maybe we can find some washi okay let's see I don't have a lot of red I'm just not a red fan so we'll just use that black washi again I'm sorry if you can hear my daughter on her tablet but sometimes if you if you are a mom you know sometimes this is the only time you get to do this stuff so I thought hey let's throw them a real life video right little miss yeah yeah you like watching me watching me write and draw um, what'd you say yes or no do you like watching me write and draw yeah yes and do this and yes and color she's moving her finger back and forth like this you just can't see it okay so I decided that I wanted to put the ledger paper underneath the flower paper so I'm gonna glue that all down like that sometimes I want to really flatten stuff out so I take like old cards and I flatten it out. And the reason I like to do that because on Tomo River paper, it just buckles sometimes. So I even go on the other side at times and flatten it out. Some people care about the buckle, some people don't. Um, you know, I'm kinda, it just depends. It really just depends. If I've already written on it, then I don't really care. But if I haven't written it on already, then I really kinda like the idea of it being a clean, um, like, flat clean flat whatever I like it being a flat surface clean surface all right so what I'm gonna do here is and I barely ever use this thing and I don't know why I don't ever use it because I really like it uh, let me find it oh wait I pulled it out the other day my tiny attacher I love this thing um, but I never use it so I'm gonna tiny attach this to the top like a little hat And then I'm gonna just glue that down. All right, so I'm gonna actually, I'm just going to use a little bit of a tape runner on this tag because it's not going to stick very well with that, um, with that tiny attacher, so, uh, and glue. So we'll just do it this way. And then I just stick it down, however, and hope for the best. <laughs> okay, so, what is next? Trash. Okay, so next thing I do, oh, I could do one of these little guys. Yeah, let's do one of these. Okay, so I'm gonna add a black word phrase and let's see. Sorry for the sniffle. That's kind of like just a habit of mine or something. Maybe I just always have sinuses, but I'm always sniffling. Okay, so it's cold. So let's try and find a word. I doubt we will find anything, but... Hmm... We're gonna put voyage, and then I thought I saw together, so I'm gonna try and find together. Hey, quit slapping that, please. There it is. Okay. And that's just for me to decorate my page. I mean, it can, you can put something that, you know, works for you, that you want done for you, like, you know, a saying or a quote. Uh, easily, you could put a quote here instead of this paper cluster. But um, I just, hang on, I'm taking off socks right now. <laughs> See? <laughs> um, I'm just putting the paper cluster because I like it. It's something that, like, I just kind of started doing. And so, shh, it's something that I just started doing. So, uh, it's, you know, this could change easily in time. So, now at this point, I go through here and I just highlight, I accent all my days. And anything that has this font is what, this is what I do to it. All 
Okay, so once I finish coloring everything in, and maybe I don't feel like uh, this is, uh, the color scheme kind of connects with each other, which I'm feeling it right now, then I come down here and I do something. A lot of times I add these triangles. This is kind of like my go-to doodle. I wouldn't say it does a fantastic job of pulling this together, but um, you know, it it kind of ties it all in in its own little way. I also do these lines. I like these lines. So um, this is kind of how I do my spread, and then I just start filling it in. And at this point, my husband and I share a calendar. It's the Google Calendar, and so. What I do, so that way I remember <laughs> what I'm supposed to be doing throughout the day. I mean, guys, sometimes I'm so bad, like things are just happening, and I know my son has school Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I know that he goes to school at 12.15, but sometimes, like, I get them confused, and I will say, okay, my son has school at 12, and I pick him up at 3.15, when it's really, he has school from 12.15 or 12.30 to 3. Um, I can drop them off between 12.15 and 12.30, so that's why I write that. Um, yeah, but it's just like, how do I forget that? And then, let's see, I get out my calendar and I look at what else I have to do? And it looks like I have absolutely nothing. Um, we have an uncle's birthday here. Uncle. And my husband gets paid this day. So normally when it's like something exciting, I kind of write it in this font and I fill it in and it's not something that I need to cross off. So it kind of just breaks it all up and it looks cool. Um, so, and then I know that I need to work on custom orders this week. We are still house hunting. I need to clean. And I need to film a video about the new notebook, which I am excited about. Um, also, question, I got this Delphonics pouch for Christmas. Would you guys be interested to see how I'm filling it? You can leave a thumbs up or you can comment in the comment section and let me know if that's a yay or a nay for you. And then that's how it goes. And then now I'm set up so that way, I mean, this week's a little different because I have I have some space to journal for Monday here, but then I keep moving on until um, until I come to the next Sunday. Or I normally do this on Sunday, so until I come to the next Sunday. Now, this is almost full, actually. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, and then I will be making myself a new one. I will. Uh, be doing a flip through of this and this is my test. This right here is my test book to see if it's gonna work for me and for me to be able to sell them in the shop. And I do have a couple other people testing them out for me and I have gotten feedback from them, uh, mostly good. There are some changes that I already previously wanted to make with this and they have said, yes, you should definitely do those changes, so. Um, that's what's happening, folks. I think that um, I can safely say that this is something that I would like to enter into the shop. Um, I'd like to add it to my Etsy shop. The only problem is the Tomo River paper is more expensive than the um, mixed media paper. So I'm, I'm debating on the cost for these. So, but they will be B6 and they will have either my art or um, a, uh, a print of my work on it. So yeah, get excited. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat. Till next time, everybody, I'll see ya. Bye.